Hi, Div. Hi, Jamara. Thank you for joining our weekly Android development study jam. And I think, uh, Dimarol, this is the first time for you to join our study jams. And it might be a little bit difficult, but uh, usually we have um, Arslan, uh, who kindly helps us to learn Android app development. Uh, but uh, today I'm going to conduct this session. And because I'm not uh, an expert in Android app development, we're gonna uh, try to learn this as, uh, as we can. And um, I think we can start from um, just trying to set up the environment uh because i think maybe you don't have the android studio and um this is the link that you can use uh, to download android studio um you need to click on the download options or download android studio and choose the uh, the device that you are using, for example, I'm using Mac and you maybe use the Windows. And uh, while we are, while we're setting up this environment, um, I'm going to explain what we're gonna do today. And let me share the screen. So this is our third application that we're gonna create today, but uh, because the amount of information and new concepts that we're gonna learn is huge, we're gonna divide this uh, session into different uh, parts. And this uh, third app that we're gonna create uh, is called Android Trivia app. And the concepts that we're gonna learn are the app navigation, uh, like fragments, uh, navigation path, external activities. And today we're gonna start with the fragments. And this is the code lab that we are following. And I'm going to share the link for this lab as well. And I encourage you to log in to your developer profile uh, to save the progress. And as you see from this uh, screen, this portion, as we move along this study jam, we can see the progress and eventually we can earn the badges. And these badges are seen in your developer's profile and they can be shared on uh, social media, or even can create the link on your resume. Let's start with the fragment. Okay. So actually to create this uh, app to define, um, not define, but to create the fragments, uh, you need some experience or knowledge of Kotlin, some fundamentals of Kotlin, but we have uh, already covered them on our previous sessions. And I hope uh, today I will try to explain as much as I can, uh, but um, this is maybe the thing that be like a blocker for you to move uh, towards creating the app. And um, how to you need to know how to create the basic apps uh, in Kotlin, but this is what actually we are learning here. And um, you need to know how to work with layouts. And this is also what we have uh, learned before, but I will try to explain as much as I can what we're going to do today. And today, this uh, lab is focused on creating a fragment inside the activity. Uh, how can we understand uh, what we're gonna do? 
let's see the app overview. So this is the um, trivia app, and it can, contains of three parts. The first screen is a title screen, Android trivia, with the play button. And uh, this is where the user start, starts the game. And then, then we have the window with the questions. So uh, this is the app that allows uh, you to answer three questions about Android uh, coding. And as you answer all three questions correctly, you, uh, you win the game and the game ends. So this is the question app, uh, questions um, window. And then we have the um, navigation, uh, this icon that um, moves this small window from the left and you can choose rules or um, to know some information about these apps. So this is the navigation uh, like window or uh, menu. And this app has already been created like the starter code. And I'm going to show you how to set up this um, starter code on your own computer. So we're gonna move towards this GitHub page in case you don't have this link, this one. And do you have all the GitHub? Dimaral, do you have? I don't have it. <laughs> okay, so first thing you need to, maybe you, you don't need, let's see. Um, if, if you know, let me know. So can we uh, just uh, clone this GitHub without having a thing? Maybe. So I'm going to show how I will clone this. So this is, you can see all these apps and they have a starter uh, like suffix here, which means this is the starter code for these all apps. And we are interested in the Android trivia starter um, app, but we're gonna clone, which means like copy these starter codes onto our local computer, uh, all these codes. Uh, using this uh, link. So I'm going to copy it. And then uh, I'm going to open the terminal. Actually, I already copied it before, but I'm going to just to show you how to do this. So I'm going to navigate to my documents uh, folder. And then I'm going to create a new folder, um, like, for example, uh, trivia. Oh, but so because it contains all the apps, we're going to say, for example, uh, apps um, starter. Okay. And then we navigate to this. Uh, folder and say git clone. Yeah, I think you, you need a git here, git clone, and then paste the link. So we're gonna clone this code and let me see. Maybe you need um, Maybe this one. Okay. Uh, because you maybe you need to install many things. Maybe that's not a good uh, idea. 
uh, I will just uh, send you the links, but after the session or later on, we can uh, work on esta um, establishing the environment for you. So maybe for now, you can look how we're going to create it. So just for this study session. Uh, so these files are cloned onto my local. And now uh, I'm going to create uh, open the Android Studio that you need to install. And here I have already some uh, project um, initiated, but I'm going to start maybe a new one. Let's see if I can do this. So we're gonna click open and then we need to um, choose the Android trivia that we have installed and I have them in the documents. This is app starter. And then this is the Android trivia starter. So we're gonna open it. And we need to wait some time. Um, yeah. I think it might take a lot of time. Let's see. And while it um, launches, yes. Okay. Let's see what we don't. What we need to do next. Um, I'm going to close this GitHub page and go to this tutorial. Okay, so we already downloaded this starter codes uh, and we need to open this project in Android Studio. This is what we are doing now. It's uh, launching. And uh, by the way, do you see, maybe not, do you see this Android Studio? Okay, let me stop sharing and I'm going to change windows. Share. Okay. So this is the Android Studio. And uh, then we need to explore uh, what we're gonna, what we have here in this starter code. Uh, in particular, we are interested in the main activity and how to navigate to the main activity. We need to go to app and then Java folder, and then we will see this uh, main activity class. And you also see you, um, we're gonna create the fragment class here, but for now uh, we only have the main activity. And then uh, we open the res, then layout and double click on the activity main uh, XML file, uh, and um, we see that we will see that in the activity uh, main XML file uh, under the um, under this uh, res tab, we will have a linear layout, and this is just a quick uh, description that in the linear layout, especially the vertical one, we see the all the child views are in uh, aligned vertically as the main as a name suggests. Uh, let's wait a little bit more until it sets up. Otherwise, I'm going to also open the existing project. It's, it may take a while. see. Oh, okay. Nice.
Okay, let's see the Java folder and then the main activity. And in, so this is our main activity and um, interestingly, there is only uh, override fun create. But actually before there was a different um, content, but that's okay. Let's see next. Uh, then this is the layout and we are interested in the activity main. Ah, okay. So in this design uh, tab, we see uh, component tree, layout, linear layout is vertical. So this is what we have to explore uh, in the beginning of um, app exploration. Then um, let's go to the next, ne uh, next task. And now we need to add a fragment. And uh, a fragment is the a section of the activity, which is like a sub activity. And there are different properties of a fragment. Uh, which is uh, which are listed here. Uh, the fragment has its own life cycle and it receives its own input. It can you can add or remove fragment while the activity is running. The fragment is defined in Kotlin class, so we are uh, creating Android apps using Kotlin. And fragments user interface is defined in XML layout file. So we already so we can have some kind of uh, understanding of the concepts. So we, we see here layout folder and all the files are of XML uh, type. So we see here that user experience is defined, uh, user interface is defined as XML layout file. Now, uh, the first step that we need to do is to add a fragment class. And so now we see our app um, actually, before I tried this, um, uh, running this app, I couldn't uh, run it on the virtual device because I think I have to install some more, um, some more libraries or something, but we will see. So. Uh, let's uh, assume that we already know that our app has just this structure, or I can see here that there is nothing actually in this application. I think, yes, we have nothing um, in this application, just this starter code, and we're going to convert it to this this uh, app with the fragment by adding fragments. And how to add fragment? Uh, we need to go um, to the file. Uh, so we need to press on, the, on this uh, folder and then go to file, new, and okay. Because I have not yet, installed mm. so it's still running actually and because i have not updated some indices i cannot uh, find a fragment here in the file new uh, menu, 
but as uh, as it stops updating indices we will see uh, an updated menu here and we're gonna add the fragment to the app uh, fragment class so let's wait a little bit more and let me explain uh, what we're gonna do next so uh, the fragment class is going to be a blank title fragment class so it will have the name title fragment and we're gonna create it by uh, this algorithm file new fragment and fragment blank and uh, uh, specify the name title fragment then uh, the layout name will be the placeholder layout but we will see that as we create this folder uh, as we create this class, we're gonna uh, see a new file, XML file in the layout uh, folder, but we don't need to create it because, so we already have here fragment title. So the XML file is already here, so we don't need to create it. And uh, the source language is Kotlin because we create, we learn how to create apps using Kotlin and we, we click finish and this is the file that we're gonna see on the um, on this navigation uh, folder and it will contain different variables uh, but um, I, I guess because I have uh, already launched this project before maybe that's why we don't have um, the oh let's let's see next so it, it will contain a different uh, different variables defined and um, functions such as uh, create view and uh, function on create view which we're gonna modify uh, this way so we need to delete all the codes uh, that is uh, inside the function override function on create view. So we're going to have actually here some return statement, but we're going to uh, delete it. And then we're going to paste this. Uh, um, and then actually this file will contain the class title fragment and different uh, variables defined here, as well as um, objects, companion objects defined in this class, this class. But we're going to delete everything there and only leave this function on create view. And inside this function, we will, uh, we will delete the return statement and we're going to define our own um, body of this function. So this is the algorithm that uh, how we're going to do this. Um, we will see that uh, we need to create a binding variable. And we create binding variables in Kotlin by using val, and then we call the name of a, of a variable. So maybe from this uh, Python fundamentals course, you remember that uh, to create variable, we just used the name. But here in Kotlin, we need to define val. And then um, we define this uh, binding variable using this fragments view. Uh, or the uh, data binding util inflate. So we can see here, we can uh, navigate to this uh, document, documentation, to understand uh, what does it mean. And so this is the public class. And it uh, creates the view data binding from layouts. So we can see here different, um, methods of this class and we are using the inflate method and let's try to find inflate method here if it's possible use okay so this is the inflate uh, and it the description though there is a, like two inflate um, methods and both of them inflate 
binding layout and returns a newly created binding for that layout. And there are several uh, arguments that must be parsed. Uh, the inflator, layout ID, view group parent, uh, attached to parent, it's a Boolean, and the binding component. So here um, we define the binding, data binding util inflate. And then this is the arguments that we're gonna use, inflator, as we saw in the documentation, uh, the fragment title, the container, and the Boolean false. So this is, uh, can be found here, the Boolean. And, okay, so this is a not new member escape. Let me check. Okay, so maybe it's done. Okay, let's see. Oh, so here you see, the dialogue have been uh, a little bit updated and we need to find this fragment uh, option and then fragment blank. And then we need to specify the name. So we have here the name title fragment. And then layout name is going to be placeholder layout. And source language is Kotlin. Then we call finish and wait a little bit more. Okay. And okay, let's see. Add. So we can see here title fragment Kotlin file have been uh, added to this navigation folder. And we also see here the placeholder layout XML have been added. And we're gonna first um, modify this file title fragment. And as I said before, uh, this file consists of a class title fragment and uh, some variables, uh, parameter one, parameter two, then uh, function on create and function on create view. And this function that we are interested in, it contains the return statement. And also there is a companion object defined. So as we saw from this uh, algorithm, we need to delete everything except the uh, function on create view. So I'm going to just delete this one. And companion object as well. And let's, uh, let's check number of records here. Okay. And then we need to delete this because we're gonna define our own return statement. And the first thing to do is to define the binding va uh, variable, look at this. Just copy it here. And we will return this binding uh, root. Okay. Now, uh, when we open the layout and we delete this file XML. We don't need this because we actually already have the fragment title XML. I'm going to delete it. Uh, okay, delete. Okay. So no mistakes here. Uh, you might have uh, seen some red like arrows here or here maybe. Um, you need to just click on it and then there must be a import uh, button. You need to import these uh, libraries which are going to be listed here. Okay, I have no problem because I already uh, tried this uh, before. Let's uh, 
Okay. Let's see next uh, what we're going to do. Now, uh, the step two, we need to add our newly create file or new create class fragment to the main layout file. And we're going to go to this activity main XML. Activity main XML. Oh, it's already open. And go to the code tab here. And then in the linear layout, so actually there is a kindly uh, a, a comment here to do. So here we need to add a fragment tag for the title fragment in the linear layout. And as this is just a comment, we're gonna pass our code here underneath the comment. And uh, so as we saw before, we have the linear layout element and we need to add fragment. And this is the code that we have, linear layout, this is the fragment. So we need to open fragment like this and define uh, four um, variables are ID. This is our title fragment, the name, uh, Com example Android navigation title fragment. So we can see here uh, the path, com example Android navigation title fragment, and then layout width uh, match parent and layout height match parent. So this is, uh, we define the uh, position of this fragment uh, that should match our parent layout. And the parent layout is this one. And I'm going to just paste this to this code. Okay. And we need to run the app and see the result. Let's try. Okay, just uh, close this. I'm going to save it. Okay. Let's try to run the app using this play button. And okay. There might be some errors. Oh, okay. Interestingly, we now have here red arrows and we need to fix it. Oh, actually, we don't have here imported. Okay, so we imported the data binding module and there is no red arrow and then we need to import this one. Okay.
So this is actually it for the creation of the fragment. Let's wait a little bit more. Uh, there is also a solution code and a summary of what we have done so far. So we know that a fragment is just a section of an activity and it's, it has its own life cycle, this is its own input. Uh, the tag is defined in the fragment uh, in XML layout file and it uh, inflates by this function on create view that we have modified and we can add or remove fragment while activity is running. So there's some information about more self-study and a homework, but we are not interested in this so far. So we can just go to the next and finish this collab, pressing done. And let's see what's happening here. Okay, still building. Still building, okay. Let's go to maybe next uh, collab as we have like more than 20 minutes and hope that it will um, launch soon. Okay. So let's see here. The next collab is navigation pass. Um, a little bit difficult to run now programs because uh, PC is PC. If you are installing, um, Android Studio and you have some problems, let me know. We'll try to fix them. And oh, okay. Okay, so this is the navigation path. And we're gonna skip this uh, overview and go to the app exploration of the starter code. Okay. okay, it's frozen. Let's wait. Okay, so now we had already um, created the fragment uh, title, which means this uh, window with the name of our app. Uh, we have not visualized it yet, but the code is uh, ready. Now we're gonna do this uh, play button and um, navigation graph for the app to have the great game screen. And we're gonna connect this uh, title fragment with the game screen by uh, activating the play button. And uh, we will add the up button, uh, this one, to go to the top of the uh, screen. But as you see here, there are a lot of tasks to do and maybe we will split the task onto different sessions. So first thing we need to do is to add navigation dependencies. And how to do this? Um, so we're gonna skip these first steps because uh, we already uh, downloaded the starter app, and we go to the Android Pay, Gradle script, and double click on the build Gradle file. Let's go to the Gradle script. and then build the rattle. Okay. 
and then we need to add the navigation version in the x variables and we need to see the version number uh, of this navigation version variable uh, going to this declaring dependencies uh, documentation and i already opened this here we can find so in the tutorial it's 2.3 and we see here that the stable next stable release is available for 2.4.2 so we're gonna define the navigation version this one using the appropriate version let's see Okay, so it's a little bit frozen. Okay, so here we see different uh, versions defined and we just need to add one more to this list. Uh, Gradle version, okay. We need a good uh, PC to run these programs because it's super, <laughs> super basic apps. But um, it's difficult to run it. Okay, and I'm going to uh, edit the version. Okay. Now next, um, in, in the same Gradle script, we need to uh, go to the dependencies uh, list and we find this implementation. Let's go to the dependencies and Written, do not place your dependencies here, but we're gonna move uh, along the tutorial. And then we need to rebuild the project. And now I think rebuilding the project may be a little bit uh, problematic because it's already busy trying to run the first version of our app and i'm trying to understand uh, if there is some installation required okay let's uh, let's just move through the uh, tutorial in hope if it's already uh, launched. And uh, Div, Dimeral, so I think Dimeral, maybe you are just following this uh, video, but if Div, you have uh, also created the app, let me know where you can share the screen and um, share what you see when you build the app. Otherwise, we just go through the tutorial. 
and we are left with the step two. And uh, we need to go to the uh, Android pane, right click on the REST folder and select new Android resource file. We will go to the And I think Android resource file. Okay. Then in this new resource file dialog, dialog we need to select navigation as the resource type. And then uh, we will name it as navigation. file name, and then uh, choose, uh, click on chosen qualifiers and see if it's uh, empty. Okay, it's empty. And then uh, click okay. And we should expect a navigation XML appears in this res navigation folder. Okay. Okay, so under the rest, we see navigation and navigation XML file. So everything is okay here. Okay, maybe it's uh, going to be even more busy. Yeah, so actually they will, uh, devil or if it was the uh, same for me when I first tried to run uh, this app uh, to build this app I have to install or update many uh, folder or libraries so it took me like an hour or so um, okay so oh, why I did this I don't know but okay let's go Okay, then um, let's wait until it uh, loads. And then what we're gonna do next, and uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this navigation XML file, C click on design tab to open navigation editor. And then uh, we should see that uh, there is a message, no navigation host fragment found. He, and we're gonna fix this in the next um, task. So we still have 10 minutes, maybe it's possible to finish it. Let's see, okay, still loading. It's uh, super. Um, so it's updating indices, and because it's updating indices, uh, that's why we might have this difficulty to display. Actually, we are interested in this design tab, but so, okay, the code is loaded, but the design tab is, okay, so it's finished. It's good news. Probably this one will not uh, launch by the end of the study session.
Okay, let's see how can we um, create the navigation host fragment. And it's not a big uh, task. So we go to the navigation, uh, this uh, res layout activity main XML and open the code tab. This is actually is possible to do without uh, seeing the, uh, visualizing the problem itself. So actually here, well, well, I want to go to this design tab because I wanted to uh, confirm that here on the design, we will see this message, but uh, thanks to the tutorial, we can expect there is a message that we need to fix. And we're gonna go to the activity main. Let's uh, close title fragment for now. Okay, so this is activity main and then um, difficult to okay. And in this activity main XML file, we need to change the this one, uh, this fragment title to this one. So I'm gonna copy this. So here uh, we, we had the name uh, fragment. Uh, let's see, actually, what was the name? This one, uh, Android navigation title fragment, and we're gonna just Android. Okay, so it's just the name ready, paste. Okay. And we need to change the ID as well. And now it's going to be, instead of title fragment, it's going to be, uh, This one. And then uh, we need to add app nav graph attribute. So this is one, this one, and set it to the navigation navigation. So we just copy this one and paste here. Now, copy and then okay. And here are some mistakes. Actually, we already provided the dependencies, I think, but somehow
And the last thing we need to do is to add app default host to uh, be equal to true. And I'm thinking how to uh, fix this problem. I think it's because uh, there's some still difficulties. Okay. And let's see the so we Android navigation we we added these dependencies actually but but it still gives us an error. Oh, okay, so Gradle build is finished actually. That's a good news. We had two minutes until the end of this session, but uh, why it doesn't uh, launch us? I'm trying to solve the problem. Let's see. So actually this is the end of this uh, task here and we just need to have no problem with, with it, but somehow there is a problem. Okay. because it was not found in the project or libraries. Um, This is some mistakes, and I think I won't quickly fix it right now. So it's better, uh, maybe we can stop here. And uh, I hope for the next study jam, I'm going to fix uh, some uh, bugs uh, on my own. And uh, we're gonna continue with this uh, fragment, um, uh, building the uh, trivia app, adding the navigation, uh, navigation um, drawer and then uh, see visualize the result on this emulator but uh, just for now I think I have some problems with uh, some libraries especially that uh, builds the app and also I'm going to try and fix the uh, bug on the uh, on this activity main with this um, nav navigation host fragment. So what, uh, what I want you to understand from this study session is um, the use of navigation uh, class to pre uh, create the activities and uh, we're gonna learn how to move 
through these activities from one to another activity in the next study session. And uh, maybe that's it. And I hope maybe next time uh, Arsan will give us more detailed explanation on this topic so that we just don't just uh, copy and paste, but we understand why we do this and what would be if we did if we like assign a different value or if we don't do this don't assign this uh, app now graph or default now false navigation host and so on so that's it for today thank you for joining and i hope it was not that much confusing <laughs>